Hello, this is Ian Matthew, Technical Marketing Manager for Oil & Gas & Plant Solutions. In this video, I'm going to take you through some of the new features available in the Autodesk AutoCAD Plant 3D 2014 Extension 1 release. The two new features I'm going to show you are first, the new Center of Gravity features, and then the new Bill of Material feature for orthographic drawings. So first, let's take a look at the Center of Gravity feature. So here we are in a model, and the first thing you'll notice is the new Analyze Command ribbon. We have four commands, Live COG, Edit COG, COG Snapshot, and Create Report. Let's look at the Live COG first. With the Live COG on, every time we snap on a piping component, we will see the new COG glyph appear. This glyph will move depending on the current component selected, as we see here. Let's switch to wireframe so you can see easier. The Edit COG command allows us to independently edit the center of gravity for a single component, for example a gate valve, to allow for a valve operator. Simply place the COG symbol at the new position. Now if we recalculate the COG for the spool, you will see the spool COG has moved as you would expect. Here note that the dialog appears to warn us that the component COG has been edited. We can use the COG snapshot command to give the symbol persistence, i.e. it'll stay whenever we update. Now let's create a center of gravity for the other pipe spool. The center of gravity symbols have properties which include the position and the weight for the COG symbol as we see here. Now, let's take a look at the new Bill of Materials feature for orthographic drawings. Here we are in an ortho drawing and first we'll create a top view of the view in the drawing as we see here. In the ortho view ribbon we have some new commands. Table placement and settings contains the commands table setup, update bill of materials and bill of materials. First let's see the table setup command. This looks very similar to the BOM setup for isometrics but it's not the same. Let's go ahead and add a column. We select the property we want to add and then check that column to add it to the table. Now we select the Bill of Materials command to place the table. First select the viewport and then we position the table. Note the tag for tagged components appears in the table. Now we can use the bomb annotation command to link the piping components to the table as we see here. We'll annotate the gate valves. Simply select the table row and then place the annotation where you want it. As with other annotation, these will be updated when we update the viewport and use the update bomb table command. So now, I've shown you the new features, I'd just like to remind you that any old projects, even migrated ones, will not have the BOM annotation in the project, so please refer to the README in order to see how to add that. And finally, I'd just like to add that there are also some improvements that have been made to the AutoCAD isometrics in this release. And finally, there are plenty of tips and tricks plus other new feature videos available here at www.autodesk.com slash plant videos. Thank you for watching.